on the 107-foot saga. Usually when you come out to a town pick, you're getting 50s and 60s. Captain Jake Anderson pulls up to a string that's been soaking for nine days. I've got a 200,000-pound quota, so I have to perform. Only halfway done with the job. Everything could go wrong still. Two days ago. I got to have at least 80, 90,000. I will agree. Jake gained the confidence of Saga owner Lenny Herzog. If things keep up, you know, I shouldn't have to take any crab away. There's still a chance? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> but with over 100,000 pounds of quota still to catch. Come on, Dean, you got it. Got it! The young captain's future still hangs in the balance. Here comes our first crab. Ah. Not good. Damn it, man. A lot of smalls and females. What did you guys get on the last pot? 19 on that one, Jake, one nine. It's not good. Oh, I want to puke. 15. All females in that one. No, they're not, they're not too big. Nothing even extra got in that, this gear. We're getting a few numbers, but nothing like we're looking for to end of the season. We need more than teens. 17! 17! There's no more crab out here. Stack it. I need to get both of my crab. I just don't have time. Calm down. Okay, just go up slow now. Get the. Take it out of there. It's okay, right? Where's Hannes? Right here. All right. So what happened was they were picking up the pot. If you can, if you can try to look, you can see where Dean's right leg is. Well, there's an opening where there's a brand new rail we put when he was wiring up. The picking hook caught on that rail, and then it bent it, and there was so much tension, and it just flew off. With 15 pounds of solid steel whipping through the air. That would have killed somebody right there. The crew was fortunate to avoid serious injury, or worse. And Dean, almost, he almost died right now. I was, we watched that happen, him almost die. Dean's face was right next, but that would have hit him. It was a, that would have been a game ender right there. Done. Dean, don't come back home. There you go. The coming back. Y'all right, right, Dean? Oh, cool. All right. Yes, fucker. We'll be good. <laughs> sure, it gets on my nerves. But the truth is, is I care about my employees. That'll wake you up, that's for sure. Whoa. After stacking bad pots. So I'm gonna lace this string up here just south of Sombrero in deeper water. Jake prepares to find them a new home. I'm about to set up 55 pots. I count. If you were to ask Dean how many pots that we were going to set, he'd probably say somewhere around 60 or 30, somewhere in there. Let's just go with 66. The people will never know. But I do know he's willing to take my and possibly try to get better. Oh, 
call this train crew morale. <laughs> Sixty-six, six buys, so seven buys, six and a half buys. You ready? On the sea of the bay. Going over. All right, here's the first one. We're now fishing. Now we're fishing. So they'll be my favorite pots now, because they're going to be full of crab. I hope there's crab. There's crab. Oh, yeah. Hey. Nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah, first pot's look pretty damn good, actually. I was kind of surprised. Red gold, baby. Red gold. Red gold. I had 30, 34. Let's see if it keeps going. That's the first pot, so. Wow. That's how you change morale right there. That looks pretty good. Yeah! <laughs> Dean's been proving, and that's all I want is a willingness to get better. 71! 71! <laughs> Makes me so happy to hear the numbers over and over again. Oh my God, look at that thing. Here we go. That's a chunk of change. High pot of the season! I just feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Set it back. Despite our problems we had today, fishing was still good. I met my goals. I feel I handled that perfectly. There's no other way to handle that.